Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the senior taster of whiskey.com. This is my son Ben and we are presenting the best videos from 2021. The whiskey.com awards 2021 and we got a pretty good selection. I thought mm -hmm. it was a slow year with whiskey and we didn't have many good news or something like that but I can see stuff on there that is just phenomenal and one that is new and phenomenal yeah yeah so so we're starting on your side and the first is a french language task for you pronunciation so how do you say it really <laughs> chateau lagrange lagrange okay. lagrange so this is a 21 year old beaumore mm. uh, from a french brick wine cask it's well, all of those are phenomenal and extraordinary and really good. And so uh, we're talking about the specialties and not how good they are and, and whatever. They are all really, really excellent from our 200, 250 whiskies. We don't have two Bowmans on the cast today, huh? No. no. Why? No, just just look. I think we had uh, from the runner-ups, there were more Bowmans in there. Yes. Yes, yes. of course. But... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was not quite that fair, but they had exceptional Beaumont's this year. So the Aston Martin was uh, mm -hmm. just just around the corner. But no, that that was not this year. But uh, you wanted to have it like, yeah, we have one. Like, <laughs> no, it's next year. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. So the next one uh, um, was it? Is it Glengoyne, Glengoyne, yeah. 18 years. Mm. And oh yeah. This yeah. one is a, a special. Uh, whiskey completely or yeah completely from uh, sherry casks and uh, the Glengoyne has a, a wide range of older uh, mature sherry cask whiskies starting from my point of view with the 18 year old then a 20 year 21 mm. uh, 25 and some of them are over the top in terms of of bitterness of espresso taste of dark bitterness of the oak and the 18 year old is just from my point of view on the top it's just 18 is just also a very very good year i think if you look at the the whiskey.com awards from all the years then you will see that there are tons of 18 year old in there mm -hmm. it's just 18 is it's just between like say 16 and 22 or something it's just a, a sweet spot of where you have a whiskey that is not too old but not too young yeah. if you have an older whiskey like the next guy then uh mm -hmm. you have to you have to be careful yeah and the next one the artback 25 uh, it shows a little bit of blue here uh, that's because there's a, a blue screen from window up there <laughs> <laughs> and uh the artback 25 years old is a smoky whiskey and therefore the smoke uh well is a contrapoint uh to the to the cask uh so that you, you might be older with a smoky whiskey without disturbing uh too much with the cask mm, yeah uh, it depends really what you have mm -hmm. the the 25 is really an exceptional really good one and now the Artback Distillery has three H statement standard editions, the five, the 10 and the 25. <laughs> yeah. A bit of a strange core so, range. So I think it, it will take, so it's 1997 and this 1997 was the year before it was finally sold, I think, to the new proprietor. Mm -hmm. And so there are, uh, amounts left from the old uh, proprietor there had been an intermediate time where they just ran for a few weeks to let do not let the uh, storage run empty the warehouses so there is some uh, there but in from 2025 yeah then uh, amounts will rise yeah. steeply the thing is uh, it's a core range but it's allocated that's what the the sellers always mm. tell us it's allocated so it's in high demand there's not enough supply it started with a suggested retail price 750 that was not really realistic um it really started off uh with the selling at around a thousand euros 
I think now it's for normal retailers, they can't sell it anymore, they don't have any stock. Uh, if you go to the second hand market uh, where whiskey buyers trade amongst each other, um, then I think they're just traded at 1,600, 1,700, maybe I'm old and now they're at 800, I'm not quite sure, but so yeah, price is pretty much skyrocketed. There is a, um, a number on it. I think we do have a year on it as well. Very, very small. But uh, there is you a, can distinguish a year them. number of, from the lot numbers. From the lot numbers, yeah. Yeah, from, mm. yeah there it is, the, the lot number, 2020 yeah. edition. Yeah. Um, we tasted it in 2021. Um, and yeah, so yeah, prices will be still for the 2020 will be... I don't think they will go down at all, but maybe next year we will see it come to a reasonable price, a reasonable, more reasonable price. But in the end, after five years, I would expect that it will come to down to the suggested retail price. Otherwise, yeah, it will not come down. Yeah. So next one is the uh, Bunnehaven, 18 oh, years of age. Very nice. <laughs> And this Balji Low Bottle bottle is, well, is one of the non-smoky Isla whiskies, really, really good. Um, and the Bunnehaven is a distillery which is one of the not so famous distilleries from Isla. Mm -hmm. uh, but the content of the cask is really exceptional. And uh, yeah, I like it very much because it's so different from the other Isla. It's not smoky. Yeah. yeah, we had it in 2021. We also had it in 2020, 20, in 2020 in mm -hmm. our advanced life tasting. It's just, uh, yeah, we just love the bottle. It's just uh, uh, a classic. It's a core range. You can get it every time, uh, pretty much all around the year. It's not allocated, so it's it's an, it's it, there is high demand, but there is enough supply to satisfy the demand. So. This is a bottle where you can go out, you buy it. It's not that overpriced. It has a high price, but it's not that overpriced. And you get a really good whiskey for it. So as to say with the price, uh, the first four, uh, n none of that was below 100. Uh, I think the cheapest uh, is 150, <laughs> the Bunnehaven. Um, but now the last one, the fifth one is the Eredauer, 10 years old from Signatory Vintage. And this one is affordable and it's an exceptional bottle because it's an independent bottle, but from the distillery, the independent bottler owns. Yes. So, <laughs> so you have the normal Edward Dower, 10 years old. This is the standard bottle from the distillery and the signatory vintage uh, independent bottler uh, is in personal union the proprietor of the distillery and so he is able to get the best casks out of production out of maturation for this independent bottle it's very very dark it's a lot of sherry in it oh, it's and a sherry but exclusive isn't it yeah, yeah. and uh, it's always i think always single cask mm -hmm. and uh, it's 46 percent and uh so there are small differences between the taste, but there is a constant supply for this independent bottle, bottle what you typically do not have with other no. uh, producers. So this Edward Hour uh, is extraordinary because this independent bottler who knows how to, to bottle whiskey owns as well the distillery which knows yep. how to, to produce whiskey. So this is one best of best. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it is not exactly the bottle we tried uh, over the year. The bottle yeah. just got away somehow, it somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> it just ran away for some reason. Um, uh, but as you said, they own the distillery and they come out regularly, more of these casks. And they always use exceptional uh, quality butts. So this stands more of an award for uh, a series of whiskies that um, of single barrels that are released continuously by yeah, Andrew Symington. And we just know um, also in the future he will get to a similar quality to that. It will have other nuances, but it will yeah. be pretty much and on point as well. If you like that in a cast strength, there is a cast strength out there as well. Um, 
uh, unfortunately a little bit uh, higher priced mm -hmm. in a 0.5 liter bottle so not a full bottle uh, yeah that's an exceptional whiskey so that's it yeah these are the whiskey.com awards for the year 2021 very nice selection if you can get one of your hands on these bottles try them write them down in the comments we have suggestions. Maybe you have found other whiskeys that we tried this year, or you can write down in the comments which whiskey was the best year, best whiskey that you've tried over the year. And that is always nice to know. So yeah, thank you very much for watching and see you next time.